Demetrius, you guys only get, you didn't give up any points on defense in the second half. How frustrating was the outcome? Um, you know, we kind of we kind of we kind of want to think of it as that. You know, we just want to we just want to do anything we can to you know help our team get the win. So we were just trying to get the ball to our offense as much as we can. Demetrius, folks. Demetrius, you uh, got an interception uh, in the second half there, but it was on a fourth down play, um, and it led to a safety. Did you do you have do you look back on it and kind of regret making the interception? There? Yeah, you know, I feel like uh, I could have just deflected it and just just um, got a PPU on that, just so our offense could have better field position, so they can do more things with their playbook. That's something you never did you think about that before the play? Or you know, uh, before you, play you, you know, before the play, you know, I you know, it was just the heat of the moment. I wasn't kinda of thinking that the ball was just kinda of just floating in the air, so I feel like I could just catch it and just catch it, just like just try to make a play. But I feel like the smarter thing, the smartest decision and probably down the line if something like that happens again, I'm just gonna bat it down because it was a fourth down. Jake, what do you think the issues are on the offensive end? Uh, you know, I think that a lot of times there's just one person messing up, and kind of when that happens, every play just one person mess up. Pretty much, I don't know how else to put it. How was your matchup with uh, Ed Oliver, and, and how did he? How different was he to go up against? You know, it was fun. He's a good player, and uh, you know, he's a really good second effort guy. You know, you block him, and then ball break and he'd run right off your block and try and make the tackle, you know. Plays really low. It was a battle, it was fun. Is that something you guys saw on tape and did yeah. is that something you guys talked about all week? Yeah, for sure. I mean he's great technically. So these are games that you want to play in, you know. This could be for anybody, but how does a game like tonight against a team like Houston prep you guys, get you guys prepared for Pac twelve schedule and playing a tough nine game conference schedule? You know, I think that they're probably up there too. I mean, they're a really good team. Last year they went, I don't know what they went, I think they went like 9-4 and four or something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, they beat some really good teams in the past. You know, the past couple of years, never really had big out-of-conference games. You know, this is kind of one of those times they had good guys on both sides of the ball. How might that help you down the road, playing a team like this in the non-conference? You know, just be ready to play against bigger guys, better guys. You know, I know you're a Division One AA team. I don't really prepare you for Pac-12 like this team would. What is the difference in styles between uh, Brandon and Khalil? That they each had a chance but just couldn't score. You know, Khalil's a guy that he, sometimes you don't know what's going to happen. He's kind of just going to run the ball, freelance a little bit, try and make big plays. Brandon's more sound, I guess. But I mean, sometimes. You, Khalil just start running. You don't know where he's at. <laughs> Scotty, where do you think you guys lost this game? <laughs> uh, really, we just we couldn't finish the game. I think they played all four quarters, so that would, that's what helped them. But that was about it. <clears throat> and what can either of you guys say about the defense that they're done? And obviously, Houston last year, I believe, averaged almost 40 points a game. To hold them to 19 points, no such thing, no such thing as moral victories in this sport, but. I mean, positives you can take away from that kind of performance. I mean, yeah, when you look at the game and you can be like, oh, man, Arizona defense gave a good effort, but the overall outcome is that we lost. Mm -hmm. So if they would have scored 40 points and we had 43, then, you know, I think we kind of would have been happy and mm -hmm. celebrating right now. For anybody, was there any talk either before or after the game with any of the opposing players about their families and what possibly happened with the hurricane and that it was impossible to go home? No, I um, – before the game, you know, we didn't we didn't talk to them at all. And then after the game, they kind of the coaches kind of got them away from us and just wanted to go so they can sing their fight song with their fans, which is which we respect because that's something we would do. So, Jacob, offensively, you guys had to settle for field goals a couple of times, and that ended up hurting you. Why do you think that happened, and how significant of a factor was that? Game? You know, it's hard if you can't put the ball away. You know, you're trying to get go down there to score. You're down there to put seven points up, not three. You know, he had a couple chances that one drive where two of them just we had two touch two possible touchdowns, but they didn't happen. And you know, I think the game would have been different. But uh <clears throat> you know, it's four points is a big difference from three to seven, so any more questions for these guys? Okay, thank you. Thanks guys.